on go and i will now move the stream so the guys can see all right there we go welcome guys to the escape gaming masters this is now round two the semi-finals and uh, we've got backed versus tato this time though no one's playing to uh, to get into the tournament because they've both qualified for the main event. Now they're playing for their seeding positions. And that basically means where they're going to be um, who or who they're going to be matched up against. Because the four players who are already in the main event were the top four players from last time. And now we will play through this bracket to decide which ordering they will have tomorrow and Sunday. So joining me once again, I have Memb and uh, Milkford. Uh, Nupfut, are you there? Yes, I am. Awesome, and Memb as well. Yes, I'm here as well. I wanted to ask you, Zach, I mean, if the, is they are already in the game, I mean, in the finals from tomorrow, everyone want to avoid some players like Nikov, the Piper, right? So I think they will have to play as good as possible to, to try to get the, the best seat uh, possible. More exactly. relax well, it, yeah. more relax it, because they are in, but it's still important, man, really important. Yeah, well, tomorrow is, is best of one as well. Yeah. Tomorrow is double elimination, the same as Battle for Angkor, but it's really brutal. So they, they really they want to win these games because Viper is the number one seed. So whoever finishes fourth out of these remaining four players will play versus the Viper. Yeah. And none of these players want to play the Viper first because they risk being eliminated or knocked down to the loser's bracket um, since Viper is the strongest player from last time. So... These games are really important because it will determine who faces who tomorrow. And like you said, they will want to make some, uh, well, they will want to avoid some people over others. So Tato here in the gray, he's playing as the Ethiopians up to the northwest and down to the southeast. Bact is in the orange playing as the Malay. Um, nice to see the Ethiopians here picked up by Tato. This is probably the first time we've seen them in a tournament game of this level. I think Ethiopians, Zach, is a awesome civilization and in this kind of maps also well it's a land map they are far from each other but let's remind the viewers when you advance when they advance to to feudal age he will get 100 foot and 100 gold so imagine depends what the strategy you choose but imagine if he's going with men at arms so with the transition that uh, really popular 22 up 23 3 4 militias you can make oh. you can make five militias and men at arms for example it's yeah. Super strong. Yeah, you can do a lot with it. A lot. It's a nice it's a nice bonus. You can do a huge amount. But Tato oh, look really at Tato. cocking up. Look at Tato. Yeah. You, that you see, start, right? bad, oh, bad news for him. Oh this map, there is a very small number of uh, of of um I was gonna say sheep, but they're not sheep, they're goats. And uh, oh my god, no, he's gonna lose a villager! Oh Tato! Oh nice, 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 nice. With the Palisade Wall saving his bill. But this is terrible, man. This is so bad for him. He's having to do Loom now. His TC is going to go idle. He hasn't got any food income. What is going wrong? Well, he said the builder year, but like you said, uh, he's going to be idle probably the time of uh, to make one or two villages, man. He has a seed of yeah. food. Seed of, literally seed of food in the bank. Whoa, man. Wow. Well, we will see. Like That, he... went, that was yeah. messy. Yeah. <laughs> And he's building a farm really early as well here. Well, he has a lot of he has a lot of a lot of wood. So mm. why to not do it? Uh, another thing is uh, now uh, we're going to okay. see uh, that Barry is doing properly. And let's remind to the viewers in this tournament, as far as I know, there is no restart, right? So if you get a bad start, you have yeah. to deal with it. Yep. That's right. You can't just use a restart. Um, a lot of traditional Age of Empires tournaments gave players a lot of leeway um, with map and uh, if they had a bad start or their ball was stolen a lot of the time players would just call a restart um, but we have a no restart rule unless the map is bugged and that means that if your main gold is completely buried in trees or if your food is completely cut off from you and you can't get it that's a bugged map but if it's a bad start well tough you should have played better i mean it's that's as brutal as it gets I, I never was a, a fan from Restart, you know? I always think, mm. well, it's about the skills. Like you said, imagine if you, do, you don't have your resources, you cannot collect it, it's a bug map. But this is a game, and if you get a bad start be, because of something, well, 
it's, it's a game, right? I don't know. I, I ne never like it. Yeah. But anyway, uh, this map is so, so dangerous because lack of wood, almost all the wood in the middle, is stragglers, and you cannot make in castle like TCs in the middle. Only in top of that hill, but in top of that hill there is nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just trees. So yeah. it, it's a really tough map. It, you, a lot of the time on this map, you'll see people building uh, forward lumber camps. And then they'll build their town centers at the, on the gold at the back and stuff and farm. Um, but yeah, you're right. It's, it's hard to build a TC here because it's all hilly. Um, this, by the way, is Kilimanjaro, one of the uh, maps added with the African kingdoms. So it, it's really tough. And people, uh, Zach, already, I mean, catching people out. Some people ask, I don't know if we should put the team colors because with gray and orange, they are asking. Mm. I don't know. I'm not sure because sometimes the problem is that sometimes if you check something, they switch also the colors from blue and red, and it can be even more mess for you guys. I don't know. Uh, depend what, yeah, what you prefer. Uh, I, I don't it, mind. I think it's okay. We, we can keep it as it is for now. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it'll be fine. We, we, we can see what's going on, okay. so it, it's okay. We can always, we can, you know, we've got more eyes than, well, they've got more eyes than us, actually. There's uh, about 4,000 pairs of eyes watching compared <laughs> to our four. Uh, well, not 4,000 pairs. What am I talking about? 4,000 individualized. Never mind. I'm just going off topic. Uh, back to okay, let's aggressive. talk some strategy, guys. Um, yes, aggressive. Okay, at the start, I don't like the toast farms. What are we expecting of Back T here? Most likely, he's going to do M and A forward again. That means more towers towards the stone, towards the wood. And his farm positioning is just playing into the cards of Back T here. And as you can see now, Back T is doing exactly that. And I think Tento, with his later drush and he's still not on gold it will be tough for him well we know that tato is going to be a lot later up because of that really poor start so backed aggressive and we've seen this before in the last game versus mbl going really aggressive there's an archery range he'll probably throw down some towers um is he taking stone though not at the moment do you think he'll move on to stone or if he'll just do one tower Oof, it's, it's hard to say right now. I'm just checking what he's gonna do and checking if if, if Tato is gonna spot it him because he needs to see it. Look at the wood is forward completely. He's now taking a fight. He should wait a bit. Many times already. Uh, that is start. That is start from Tato. Really, really dangerous. He can see now the archery range. He's gonna make the tower. He's doing the tower now. No, he's not doing yet. Yeah, yeah. No, not yet. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, Man at Arms is nice here. This is really good. Um, but let's not forget, once Tato gets to the Feudal Age, or once he got to the Feudal Age, he got free um, food and gold, which means that Man at Arms for him is very easy to afford, but he should cancel it. I think he shouldn't do Man at Arms right now because he's only got one militia and one's on half health. So is this technology worth it? I don't think so. I think he should cancel the tech, but he let it complete. And uh, now he's got some... Very weak mana arms. But Maybe he's going to make some more. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Just going to say he's going to make more. Yeah, but he, he need to make more. Otherwise, it's, it's not worth yeah. what he did. Wow, counter tower and doing more mana arms. He has to. Yeah, I mean, he has to get some military here. It's late putting his archery ranges up as well. So, back is this pulling ahead in military count. I like the idea of adding in uh, additional mana arms, though. I mean, I do like that to be honest. And let's not forget that in the expansions, the um, Infantry line get a little bit more HP as well, so uh, that really helps them out. Tower up for Tato, uh, he's defending a, quite nicely. He's house for the good. last 40 seconds at least, uh, Tato. Wow, it's, it's about yeah, to start, that's really. not so good. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things going on, um, for sure. I mean, right now, I, I think it's really important that he defended himself, and he's defended himself without too much going wrong losing a couple of mana arms that's nothing uh, nothing too major but yeah his economy is not in a good position he's been housed he's really really low on food and he's only got what uh, six farms that's only just enough to make villages and housed again also in, in military, good for Tata. In military he's, he's, he's behind clearly clearly behind well let's see this fight mm. really important with the mana tans. i think he's taking a good fight here or not let's see he's killing the villagers it's hard to say. I mean, the hard hill is say. coming into play here. It, it, yeah, I think I think Tato, yeah, losing no. it. Um, man, that's not good news. Bad, 
bad fight for him. And uh, Black's looking very strong here. Tato, though, getting cheeky, moving out with his villagers. He's going to wall up the archery range from Bact, try and prevent that from uh, producing any more units and take it out of the picture. Could work, but also very risky. Now he hasn't got much military I to defend these forward nah, villages. He's not going to get in time. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. No. Yeah. Not going to happen. At this level, really, the, the stat he, he got, it can change completely the completely game. And he's, he's in a really hard position. He really needs a, a, a really good fight, or he's going to be in big trouble during all the game. And not going to... I don't know. Barry is a really strong player, but he's doing a target with one village. Now he's moving. Well, but yeah, he has to back up stone. because yeah, he's got two bills on stone. Tato though had to uh, do it. Well, he didn't do a counter tower actually. Tato put the tower there and then backed, built his own tower afterwards. But it wasn't a good position as we found out. Um, yeah, I mean right now. But look how many a lot of idle bills from Tato. Exactly, I was about to say yeah. the same. How many villages he's using to pa to try to palisade both archery? Well, if he palisade both, it can be a if great... It works. Uh, uh, yeah. It's great. It's great. It's a lot of wood and he needs more military buildings, but but he has a lot of army. One village down, Barry. He should try to defend it. He's going to let him... He's yeah, gonna I, can't, I, I can't believe I he's can't doing believe, this. Man. What the hell? I, I can't believe he's letting him do what? that. I mean, look, look, where he, look where his army. I mean, he's gonna make a tower in a Lambert camp with no villagers. Oh my nope, god. But can we have some insight, please? <laughs> why Why is Bax just letting that archery range get walled up? Both? He's gonna wall I think both? It's Sorry. Simply a mistake. Um, Bax just thought, okay, there are the berries, there's the wood, the tower would be nice there. And it, it is nice indeed, but yeah, I think the archery ranges are worth more. Yeah, you're absolutely correct there. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he's lost one. Um, the other one's still able to produce. Uh, I mean, he, he could take some time to take the Palisade wall down, but given how open this map is, well, why not just go for the hunting grounds up here where all these villagers, no protection, no military in sight, no towers. Surely Bax is going to kill some villas up here. I don't see how Tato is defending himself at the moment. He hasn't even got a, a mining camp on his stone. He's long distance mining that to try and, and get more towers, but he just can't afford it at the moment. Now he's in big trouble. He's in really, really big trouble. He's also getting another tower close to his to his farmers. He's not going to reach anything, but what he's trying to get is more map control, Barry. And now he's moving. On. Oh my God, he's trying to fight now with what? 10 villages? Wow. 12 villages against <laughs> what a that? Mess. It's, it's completely <laughs> mess, I mean. Well, if he come back in this game, it's one of the biggest comeback because uh, in this situation, look, he's losing a villager. He's still chasing with that one. With how many? Two, four, five villagers, three skirmishes. He did a tower. And remember, oh, well, now he, he find Barry and he's with some skirmishes trying to make the damage. But those skirmishes, uh, Zach, not even fletching. So they are weak, man. Yeah, well, I mean, this is the thing. It's... A lot of villagers getting involved in the fighting at the moment, which is okay because they're only skirmishers and that's fine. You can fight skirmishers with villas. It's not even a bad thing sometimes. Um, a lot of the time it's necessary if you want to win. But, you know, at the moment, Tato taking some really big losses because not only are his villagers, you know, occasionally dying, but the idle time and just the disruption here to his economy, there's no real safety. And his villagers are just being weakened. I mean, just look how low some of these guys and girls are. They are going to uh, gonna get picked off over time. And Bax doesn't even need a very large army to do this. Tato, he's not even making any skirms right now. His military production is idle, and he's bringing some skirmishes over from the other side of the map to try and defend. It's taken him way too long and uh, his economy is taking a beating because of it. Economy from Barry is absolutely, absolutely perfect right now. I mean, on touch, while uh, only doing towers, probably he, he could get the game. I mean, if, he, if he's just going with towers with the advantage he has right now, and thanks God, he got one, one archery range palisade. Imagine if he didn't palisade that archery range, the advantage how it will be right now. 400 score in 20 minute difference. Well, he need a great move, but with four farmers, He's so weak, Echo, for, for Tato. Four farmers, man, now the fifth. Wow. Yeah, Tato is going to run out of food if he's not careful. He already has run out of food, actually. His TC is idle again now. Yeah. Um, 
no production. And backed with a nice bit of micro as well. He's five, six villagers chasing this army down. Um, and he's just running them around, just keeping them busy, just disrupting them. He doesn't even care if he loses this army at this stage. Um, because it's already more than paid for itself. He's kept six villagers chasing him for like 30, 40 seconds, maybe even a minute by the time they get back to work. And that's just huge value for Bact. So not only that, coming in at the front as well with more skirms, Tato is just crumbling under the pressure. And it's so difficult to recover when you're under such pressure like this. And that tower as well yeah. is so good on the farms. Like you said uh, earlier, he's moving towards it, getting control. He's trying to make another uh, counter tower, but the thing is, you think Tato don't know that what he's doing is not good? But he has not another choice. If he's not chasing with the village, what he can do? He has no economy to yeah. add a stable and make a scout, for example, because a scout in this situation would be great. Is you saw the skirmishes, right? But he doesn't have the he doesn't have the wood, he don't have farms to to afford the scout. This is the only choice. Well he did a tower before he Okay, this is a good move. He finished the tower and he's not gonna kill the villagers! Well he killed two, three villagers, two villagers. I'm pulling yeah, down the he tower. Got it. Okay. That's a good move. But the tower is the, the tower's not going to stay up, is it? I mean, it's immediately being attacked by Tato. Uh, it's something for Tato. But at the same time, it's more idle villagers. Um, it's a mess, to say the least. Tato cannot take wood safely in this game now. And um, as the game goes on, it's going to get harder and harder as these lumber camps get further and further away from safety as well. Nice micro from Bact as well. It just shows that he's one step ahead. He is microing his army the whole time. And look now Tato his is, army. Is not. His army is now way, way easier to micro. Why? He has plus one, plus one. Both mm -hmm. the attack and the fletching. armor. Fletching. While yeah. Tato is still only with the armor, which in this kind of fights is... It's, it's terrible. Don't have the fletching is well. It's it's basically game. Resources for. Well, it's interesting Oops. because it's interesting because Tato actually did uh, plus one defense first. Do you, do you, why do you think that is, Nupford? Do you think he uh, would have been better off with fletching? It has to be a misclick or the lack of the fifty gold. In general, you want to do the fletching first. I was checking. Uh, by the way, something I have to still say. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, but it's account actually is evened out. I'm not sure how Tato did that, but post uh, 41 minutes is here. That's interesting, actually. I mean, maybe back to like not paid enough attention attention back home. He's doing wheelbarrow right now, so that could explain why he's maybe a little even, well, more even on bills. But uh, yeah, I think you're right, man. He he definitely had the gold to do fletching. He just didn't do it. Interesting. <laughs> This is crazy how he has the same other village when I'm checking uh, often the TC and there's a lot of time idle. It's crazy. On Tato, yeah, yeah but on maybe, maybe back to maybe back to also has an idle TC more often than we realize as oh. well. I mean, it's it's hard to say because there's no spec overlay, sadly. Oh. Um, I missed that. <laughs> Look at Barry, Zach. He's adding a scout. Well, how to stop like it. the scouts? And with the, yeah. I like that he's going aggressive, he knows that he has the advantage and he could try to think okay let's go passive till I go castle it. But if you go mm -hmm. now push completely like he's going, another tower, the, the arches with, with fletching and now a scout, whoa. But Tato is, yeah, towers all over the map, only thing he can do right now. Tato, yeah, I mean, won't have an answer to the scouts for sure. I mean, he's got arches, he has now got fletching, but he's too spread out. Um, and scouts can really take advantage of that because they're a lot faster and with just two or three scouts he can just do so much additional damage he can deal with a small number of archers he can deal with villagers that are too far from any protection so um, yeah I like it and backed uh, it kind of reminds me of the Tim style we saw earlier where he just added the stable and he's like yeah you know what let's just add some scouts right now as well it's gonna slow my castle time down but I've got enough farms and I've got wheelbarrow I may as well just go for it it's in, it's it's tattoos sorry it's back's game to lose basically i feel at this yeah. stage he has way better economy he's even with the scouts even with the scouts he's getting closer and closer to go castle it's almost 700 foot now he did some more scouts or what some upgrade i don't know he's doing something he got 700 foot uh, but he's gathering the resources and he will go up to castle h in in a minute 
Oh yeah, definitely. And he's got a lot of wood in the bank as well, which is really nice, actually. Um, just to have that there, he can easily put up two new town centers. He could easily make a siege workshop, for example, to kill the archers and build some rams maybe to uh, take down the towers. I mean, whatever he wants to do, he's got options now. And uh, Bact will be going to the castle agent much faster than Tato, who doesn't seem like he's going to reach the castle agent at any point right now. Tato has two farmers. Yeah, because again, again, look at the, the migration with 15 villages, man. I mean, he has a lot of idle. It's impossible. I don't get so yeah. surprised, Zach, that when he reach, uh, in, uh, sorry, Castle Age, he called Castle, GG, yeah. Because he's so yeah, far. Yeah, I would from agree. I would agree. And once again, just to remind people, the melee, they advance to the next stage twice as fast. So this castle age is going to be, it's going to, it's early anyway for, for compared to Tato, but it's going to feel even hor more horrible because of just how quick this comes in. There's castle age. Tato, well, he's not called it. He's going to play on, okay. but he has got one hell of a hill to climb. Yeah, but how, how, does he, how does he pull this back? No, no, he's calling it now. He's called it. He knows it's over. And, uh... Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I feel like that game was lost almost when Tato messed up his start as badly as he did. But Do you, you see... think that's true, Nilkford? Yeah. Absolutely. I did count it and he was behind roughly four and a half villagers. So he lost one. He lost two due to... The faster uptime of Becky due to being melee, and then I have to see for one and a half extra villagers. There's no chance if you are four and a half wills behind to seriously compete against a world class be player like Becky here. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, I absolutely he's crazy, agree. Man. He's crazy when, when that uh, elephant went back. And he couldn't get for the second time because one time, okay, you make the loom and that's it. But the second time that that was well a disaster. Mm. If you check the achievements, of Zach, look at the food and the wood difference because he was never attacked at home, sadly, and it was GG almost yeah in early game. Eh? Yeah, it's interesting to me that the elephant actually went back because I'm wondering if that was AOEHD pathfinding more than anything. It look it look it looks so strange. I mean, it wasn't actually no. It went back the first time. That was fine. But the second time, it didn't go back. Um, he had to block it with a palisade. He stopped actually fighting it because his villager was going to die because the villager couldn't decide which way around the mining camp she wanted to yeah. go or the, the, the stone mine. She was like, well, do I want to go over the top? No, nah, no, nah, I'm going to go over the bottom. And at that point, the elephant attacked it three times and she was like going to die. So Tato did a good save, but it messed him up because he was already uh, behind. I mean, you could argue that he shouldn't have let the elephant go back the first time at all. But, you know, mistakes happen. And I, I would say that arguably cost him the game. So bad news for Tato there. But it's not the end of the world because he's still in the main event tomorrow. Uh, it just means that he won't be able to finish in the first or second place seeding for this bracket, which if we have a look, hasn't been updated just yet, but it will be updated soon. Um, Bact will go through to the final today. And Tato will go to the bronze match versus either Slam or Tim. Good stuff.